so we have a bit of a problem despite that I've been putting down fungicide and despite that well let me just show you let me show you what the problem is we have leaf spot fungus that so it's not as bad as it looks it's scattered throughout the whole lawn and it's just a little bit so when I was gone on vacation for eight days I like I've mentioned I watered every day to cool off the lawn because it was 95 to 100 degrees every single day and it not a, not a single drop of water on top of getting um, eight inches of rain I'm starting to see some leaf spot fungus which you can kind of tell by the yellow spots on the leaves right now so um, you can't really cure leaf spot all you could do is just let it grow out but there's some things you can do to mitigate the problem so leaf spot is a very common fungus that occurs when you get a lot of rain or you're watering your lawn too much and in this case I've had both but by mowing and foot traffic the, the spores from the fungus is the way it spreads to the lawn. I do think it would be a lot worse if, if I didn't put fungicide. But um, So today I'm gonna mow at three and a half to increase airflow and also to kind of knock the top of some of these blades off. Um, if you look down there, see that there's a lot, a lot of moisture just sits in there. Also, before I even mow, I'm going to use the blower to dry off the lawn and just to fluff it up to get up all the leaf blades so I can have a nice clean cut. It looked the best, I would say, early spring. Not a single blade was yellow, everything was just deep green. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot about my, about my grass this season. I should let the grass tell me when it needs water. So here's the backyard. Not nearly as bad. Um, I am seeing leaf spot though, right here. So I'm gonna dry off the, the lawn. It's done raining for, for, for a bit. I'm gonna mow it and hope for the best. This should be able to just grow itself out. Right now it's about four inches in height, four and a half inches. I'm gonna mow it down to three and a half, cut the very tops of the, of the diseased area get it out of the way. I'm also going to be applying some microgreen and some humic acid to um, to kind of boost the lawn a little bit. And I'm not gonna water for a while. I'm just gonna let it sit and kind of grow itself out. All right, so I'm gonna throw down some of this microgreen 002, which is essentially like a uh, multi like multivitamin that someone takes um, for the lawn. Um, just to give it a, a little bit of a boost. This is one of my favorite products to add because um, the iron in it, right here, 3%, um, you will see a green up in 24 hours. And um, a lot of these things, you know, magnesium, sulfur, copper, like these are, these are things that work in the background. You don't necessarily kind of see result from it. In the same way that when you take a multivitamin, do you actually know what half of those things labeled, what they actually do for you? No, you take it somewhat as a placebo effect to make yourself feel healthier, but also, you know, a lot of it does help, but two things that I know are gonna work into the plant really fast is the iron and also the potassium on here that uh, it's gonna help strengthen the, uh, the, the grass. I'm also gonna throw down some Humic 12 just to make it uh, the products I'm adding available to the leaves quicker and also adding some of that carbon into the, uh, the soil and I'm going to be using an ortho sprayer which is one of my favorite ways to um, add some of these products you basically just put your hose on here and you can get this by the way in Lowe's or Home Depot for like 10 bucks 10 or 20 bucks and you put your hose on here and you here's the dial and you basically spray it along with it you put your product in here uh, one bit of uh, advice is that this there's a little screen piece that this has right here. I just rip it right off, or you poke a hole because these products are way too thick for this. So I just let it, it just flows easier. And in terms of settings, in terms of settings, I put it on 
two, two to three ounces. It, it's all about per personal preference. You want to spray the lawn, you know, and obviously the higher number you put, the more the product is going to come out. So I like to put it on two to three because it just gives me a leisurely pace and just I can spray the lawn, um, kind of taking my time. There's only so much product that I can put in that ortho sprayer so I'm gonna section out the lawn I'm gonna spray this section and then this will be the second and then the third in the yard I'm also gonna put a little bit of this miracle Grow. you must be saying what you're pulling miracle Grow? isn't this the stuff you put in flowers and things the lawn doesn't care about the brand what it cares about is the nitrogen and I, I this was on sale at Home Depot and it was really cheap but if you can see right here it has 36% nitrogen, 33% urea nitrogen, which is gonna be that really fast stuff that's gonna give you a big boost. So that's the reason why I bought it, is because of the, um, the uh, nitrogen in it. So I'm not gonna use, obviously, this rate, because this is a little too much for, for the season we're in. Uh, I did the math at one point, but if I want 12% nitrogen, for the whole yard for 4,000 square feet, I have to put 12.6 ounces of the bag, which is roughly around half the bag. breaks my heart a little bit when I toss the clippings because you know I've been throwing a lot of humic acid and great stuff of the lawn and it's all in those leaf blades but so this is just necessary evil now I'm gonna get the blower and just fluff it up a little bit more All right, I'm gonna do a quick experiment here. I'm gonna spray this lawn, this area, and you see this rectangle here? I'm going to basically blot out that area so it doesn't get sprayed. In a couple days, there should be a, a lighter green circle right here where the area that I didn't spray. So just for you, YouTube, I'm doing this just for you guys because I love you. see the spot right there that I didn't spray that's the area that didn't receive any iron and it's slowly getting darker but you can kind of already tell that area around it how much deeper green it is so yep it works all right guys thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one